saying, bro? This car hasn't started in three days. Let's get into it. by the title and the thumbnail yes my one le did leave me stranded luckily i was at the crib man and i was able to you know hop in the other whip and get going with what i needed to get going but at the end of the day i've been having this issue for a little while now and i think it's time to do something about it so basically y'all uh, as y'all can still see on my dashboard bruh my tire says that it has no air pressure at all. But y'all can also see on my dashboard, we're doing 84 miles an hour. That being said, there's some kind of discrepancy, right? <laughs> so basically, what's been happening, right? What's been going on? What have you been, what have you been dealing with, J.I.? Like, what, what, what's really going down? So basically, a couple months back, um, I hit a terrible pothole in Houston, of course. Where is my tax money going? I have no idea. But anyway, I hit a terrible, that's a fair right there, he thought he was slick. But I hit a terrible pothole, bruh, and it ended up cracking my wheel, literally. Now at the time, I was working at the dealership still, I was working at Chevy. So I was just like, okay, it's cool. Like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and see about ordering a new wheel. What I told you, federal. Anyway, um, I was like, I was just going to see about ordering a new wheel and calling it a day. But they were like, nah, bro, we got a wheel repair guy. Like, and he comes and picks up the wheel, fixes it and drops it back off. You're good. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to go ahead and have him do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, is he good? Like, you know, you're giving me a recommendation, but what are the reviews? Like, does he have comebacks? Or are all the wheels solid when he works on them? Like, what's the word? Everybody's like, oh yeah, he's good, bro. He's good, he's great. He's phenomenal, whoop de whoop Never had an issue, all type of stuff. Cool. I go ahead and pull the trigger and let bro do it. I think I paid, I think I paid like, 150 almost 200 something like that just for one wheel to get fixed and literally immediately when he brought it back to me the next day i put it on the car and literally i was at work bro i didn't even leave work get off work and hop in the car and i've got a tire pressure light it says my tires on 10 percent 10 psi I'm like, bro, what? How? Like, bro, just came and gave me this wheel back. How is it already leaking? Like, what the heck? So I call bro back. He comes back next day, picks up the wheel, do it all over again. However, this is now the weekend, and buddy doesn't work on the weekend. So now I don't have my car throughout the weekend because my wheel's getting fixed. And y'all see how... 
<laughs> Y'all see how it's on 46 pounds now All of a sudden <laughs> So I'm getting to that too So basically Bro comes back the following Monday um, Brings the wheel back Ends up destroying My side skirt Damaging my fender Because he lifted the car where he was not Supposed to And put the wheel on the car Right Now knowing me I go back and I look at the car to see where the wheel is at. Like, you know, see where the repair is at. And spray it down to make sure that it's not leaking. I see the repair. It literally just looks like, bro, just put a glob of weld on top of the previous glob of weld. So I'm like, what the hell? But when I sprayed it down, it wasn't leaking. So I'm like, all right, it's fine. Like, it's not leaking. I'm not tripping. That's all I cared about. Like, I didn't want it to leak. So, put it on the car, put it back on the car, and go about my day. Fast forward a good amount of months. <laughs> like, four or five months. I don't work there no more. Just get it back from Dallas. Get in the car. Again, same tire, same thing. Ten pounds of air. I'm like, what the hell? Now, granted, the car was sitting for weeks and weeks and weeks or really months so it was like okay I get it put air in the tire and I monitor it didn't have any issues and so all of a sudden I'll get in the car and be driving and I'll get a notification that says hey service TPMS sensors and I'm like what the hell and so then I open it up and the passenger front would not be reading like it would be completely gone and i'm just like what try the car for a couple minutes go through the drive and tire pressure pops back up out of nowhere so <laughs> what <laughs> now fast forward to last month bro last month i didn't drive my car during my off days, which is two days back to back, get in the car the next day, ready to go to work, and flat tire. <laughs> Put air in the tire, it's holding, no issues until this weekend. So, boom, I have my two off days, enjoy my two off days. Recently, I've been working 14 days straight, just, you know, knocking these cars out and stuff, and that being said i was like man i'm i'm a little drained a little mentally drained let me go ahead and enjoy my two off days i'm barely gonna leave the house and that's exactly what i do i don't even leave the house like i don't drive this car um i drive the other one whenever i'm not going to work and stuff like that so this car was sitting in the garage perfectly fine monday comes around my wife's like, oh, I'm a little late to work with you. Whoop. I'm like, it's cool. Like, I'll drop you off. I'm like, we can take my car because, you know, it's a Camaro. <laughs> It'll be way faster. So I go to go get the car, hop in the car, cut it on, put it in reverse, start backing the car out the garage. It feels like the car doesn't want to move. I'm like, what the hell? turn the wheel it feels like i don't have any power steering i'm like yo what's going on i look down at the dash boom hey there it is tire pressure light again guess what tires on 10 <laughs> percent the front passenger ding 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 you all win a cam kit <laughs> everybody's getting cams <laughs> but yeah bro again the tire completely flat now, when I turned the wheel, I'm pretty sure I de-beated the tire. Now, why do you say that, J.I.? Well, because when I got back from picking up my wife at 3 a.m., I went to go pump air in the tire, and nothing's happening. However, I can hear the air. <laughs> so I start feeling around the back of the tire, and sure enough, there's a gap where the bead is supposed to meet the wheel. So, it's 3 something in the morning, bro. I'm not about to jack this car up. I'm not about to turn the car on and move it so that I can jack the car up and take the wheel off and then try putting air in it like that. 
not at all. So fast forward to yesterday. Yesterday I get off work, get to the crib, jack the car up, take the wheel completely off, right? Because I'm like, maybe the weight of the car is keeping the bead from reseating. So I take the wheel off, I go to put air in it with my little Chevy airbox pump, you feel me? And it's not enough. So I gotta take the wheel down to the gas station, plug it into their air pump, and sure enough, it seats. And it's been holding. So long story short, y'all, I've got two problems. Problem number one, I need a new wheel. Problem number two, I possibly need a new sensor. <laughs> this passenger front wheel, man, has been my red-headed stepchild, bro. Like, it has been giving me issue upon issue upon issue upon issue, man. And it is quite annoying, to say the least. But... I just thought I'd go ahead and share this with y'all.